What is up, people? Today, I wanted to tell you a little story about my mother. Yeah, well, my sweet mother killed her own children. No, not her biological children. I mean her dogs, okay? <laughs> it's a very tragic story. But it's kind of funny, too, at the same time. Anyways, so most women around the age of 45 have an epiphany. They think to themselves, I'm done with the Chads, the Tyrones, getting hammered out hundreds of times. But I'm also getting tired of my husband, the same guy I've been married to for the past 25 years. I want a divorce. I'm settling down and I'm getting a cat, which is terrible logic, by the way. But, uh, you know, sometimes for women, you know, having a husband is their retirement plan. And so anyways, um, no matter what you do for a lot of these girls, they're never happy. But yeah, so one good thing I can say about my mom is that, you know, she did instill good beliefs and values in me and my brother, taught us to respect our father, and to never abuse women unless they need to get their ass in the kitchen. So yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so where do I begin with this story? Oh, yes. So I get out of the military, the U.S. Air Force, the feelings were mutual, and decide I'm going to move back in with my sweet mother, who I absolutely adore. And yeah, it's going to be great. But little did I know I had to move in with freaking a couple dogs and shit. But anyways, so yeah, not only did I have like one divorce, I had freaking two, okay, which was you know pretty bad. And that made me very sad. So I was at a very low point in my life. And uh, but that's okay. I was picking up the pieces and, you know, trying to trying to get it together well anyway so yeah I had to move in with my mom she had like three dogs plus her sister and her sister's son TJ uh, needless to say it was a pretty crowded little place and two bedroom and I had to sleep on a cot in the living room I was pretty miserable but I did I did work seven days a week like 90 hours and just decided you know what I'm going to make the best of this and not be here that often. So anyways, well, the one dog, his name was Buddy. Buddy was like this golden retriever looking dog, kind of like Homer Bound. But instead of like Homer Bound, he looked like some senile old homeless man. And yeah, he ended up dying. Plus, he was a jerk. But anyways, so where was I going with this? Oh, yes. So some people... The way they cope with life is, you know, either A, they'll get some pets from like, you know, an animal shelter, okay? Or they'll just, if, if they're not into pets and they, they like humans, they'll get humans from, from like a homeless shelter, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, she had these dogs. She loved them. And anyway, so she meets this guy named Dirk online. And Dirk is like, hey... Why don't you come visit me in, in Denmark, right? So he lives in Denmark, and he kind of reminds me of, like, your typical middle-aged man with, like, a beer belly, okay? <laughs> he had a really bad mustache, too, by the way. But, uh, yeah, no, he, he, he was a decent guy. I got really nothing bad to say about him, and my mom absolutely adored him, and he was her knight in shining armor. But anyway, so my mom had, like, this little drinking problem, okay? And when I say little, I mean like every day, day in, day out. Didn't matter if it was 2 a.m., 2 p.m., right? <laughs> my mom was drunk for weeks on end. And you can see my little sad face here. I'm like, oh, man, because it freaking sucked. So anyways, um, yeah, she had this drinking problem. But, you know, we tried to help her as best we could. But nonetheless, things would happen like this, where she would go to McDonald's and freaking tries to get out of line. And, well, she abandons her car for various reasons, goes, uh, gets out of the car, walks all the way home, gets in her bed, didn't tell me or anybody else until I get a freaking knock at the door. And it's the police. And they're like, hey, is that your car? I was like, uh, it's probably my mom's. He's like, well, you need to get it um, because, yeah, we're going to we're gonna tow it. So you might want to get it before we do. I was like, okay, 
Well, when I get there, the car's freaking in the ditch. My mom had abandoned her car and walked all the way home. She was pissed drunk. So whatever. I got it out. I towed it out. Paid 140 bucks. Got the car out. Whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, Dirk is like, hey, why don't you fly over to freaking Denmark? And, like, me and my aunt were like, no, that's a terrible idea. Do not do that. But, of course, she doesn't listen. And, um, you know, there was one time when <laughs> she's like, you know, sometimes I just want to get my dogs and put them in the car and drive off a bridge. And my aunt's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Those are your children. You want to kill your children? She's like, no, I don't want to do that. And then afterwards, she would, like, be crying herself into a drunken stupor. Like, <laughs> it's freaking crazy. Oh, man. Those were some happy times, to be honest. Um, you know, because at, at that point in my life, I had to take care of my mom, you know. She couldn't really take care of herself, and I had to be an encouragement to her. Anyway, so Dirk is like, hey, fly out to Denmark. And she's like, oh, that's a great idea. So she buys a ticket, spends a 1000 bucks, and she tries to find some people to take care of her dogs. She couldn't find anybody. So what does she do? She freaking takes them to the vet. And puts them to sleep. She freaking killed them. (laughs) I was like, wow, that was extreme. But it gets worse. So anyways, she was like, I'm not going to Denmark with my dogs if nobody can babysit them. So she puts them to sleep. Goes to the airport the day that she has to fly. Gives gives the the counter her passport. And they're like, oh, ma'am, you can't fly. This has a rip in it. (laughs) <laughs> She's like, what? They're like, yeah, you can't fly with this passport. It's got a rip. It's got a tear. She's like, but I, but I paid $1,000 for this flight. And they're like, well, sorry. It's non-refundable. Have a nice day. <laughs> so you can imagine like how devastated my mom was. She was like, you know, thinking about her dogs she just put to sleep. She's thinking about her boyfriend who she can't go see. And she's thinking about the fact that she's out of 1000 bucks pretty awful time in her life but yeah that was pretty much it and um you know i hope you guys did go visit your moms for mother's day i know i did i went and spent saturday night with her um sunday morning we drank coffee together and she's you know my best friend so um anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this story as much as I did, this made me laugh so hard. Every time I think about this story, it just makes me go, wow, (laughs) my poor mother. (laughs) But yeah, guys, make sure you take care of your moms. Uh, They're very important. And um, try to be understanding if if they're dealing with stuff. You know, life is difficult for everybody. All right. If you like this video, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I like to interact with my subscribers and my viewers, and I will probably respond Um, Thanks for watching. I am BP signing out.